Well, we're gonna talk about gear under $50 today that are must have pieces of gear for your backpacking. So now outside of your big three gear items, I think some of the most budget friendly pieces of gear happen to be the most important things that you take on a backpacking trip. And as we get going today, I wanna to thank Garage Grown Gear for sponsoring this video today. Everything that we're gonna talk about can be found on Garage Grown Gear. What I love about this company is they are a one-stop shop option to find all of the cottage gear manufacturers and be able to purchase things that are unique and different and made here in the USA as well. So super cool options and they've got a category specifically for gear under $50 or even under $25. So many cool options from stuff sacks to things that we're gonna talk about today. So without further ado, let's jump into what I think is one of the first and most important things that you carry with you and that's a water filter. So the Sawyer Squeeze is the filter that I have become absolutely reliant on. I think it is a fantastic option. Uh, I've used a lot of different filters out there, but the Sawyer Squeeze happens to just never fail. <laughs> so I keep going back to it and highly recommend it. And then pairing with it, the Vecto water bag from Canuck Outdoors. You can get this in various uh, sizes, two liter, three liter options and uh, sometimes you'll see even a garage grown exclusive uh, color for this so definitely recommend this as a high quality good water bag even though yes I have had issues with this bag uh, I still use it as my primary option so now the next piece of gear that I want to talk about is something that a friend of mine Justin Outdoors actually led me on to with uh, talking about things you can find from Garage Grown. And this is the Bogler Trowel for uh, your poop kit. And this thing is fantastic. It's super lightweight. It digs super well into the ground. You've got little serrations here on the side that help dig through roots. It's a really great design and I think a nice option for adding to your poop kit to replace maybe the deuce of spades or other options that you've got out there. The next is cook kit stuff. And I've got everything from a pot to a spoon and a stove that we're gonna talk about. The spoon first that we'll talk about is the awesome go-to classic long handle titanium spoon. Love this thing, helps to get down into those deep uh, freeze dried bags. But then the, probably the best option for a titanium cook pot is the Tox 550 milliliter pot. This is, I think, the best size for somebody that's looking to just boil water, have a nice hot drink, but also have enough water for a freeze-dried or dehydrated meal like Mountain House, Peak Refuel, any of those. It's the right size and super lightweight. So the 550 from Tokes. Now a new stove that I have started to use uh, happens to be in this Hilltop Packs ditty bag but it's the white box stove and I really like this option because in the desert I can easily use an alcohol stove that is kind of like that soda can style where you've got fuel down in the top and then you let it bloom in around the side but what I really like about this is you've got a super nice pot stand now the pot stand aspect is the biggest issue for me when it comes to alcohol stoves. So I've got the ability to get everything set up like this, super easy. It's not that heavy, it's not a big deal, and it's a great option for an alcohol system that also comes with a windscreen. Man, my hygiene as far as like brushing my teeth when I go on a backpacking trip is awful. <laughs> but I have started to try and use different options and I've got these unpaced toothpaste tabs that I've started to use that they're nice mint flavored and the benefit to this is I can carry only as many tabs as I need for the amount of times that I'm going to be brushing my teeth out in the field. So if I'm out for three days it may take six tabs and brush morning and night kind of thing. 
So the unpaced tabs, these are super nice, super convenient, lightweight, and they don't have any extra trash while still uh, improving your hygiene on the trail, which I need to be better at. All of these items together do not cost a lot of money, but they are necessary gear items that help you be more efficient, uh, enjoy yourself more on the trail, save weight, and uh, be able to practice, leave no trace, all of those things. So I want to thank Garage Grown Gear for sponsoring this video. Links for all of these things to Garage Grown down in the video description. Check them out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a nice day. See you later.